Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to test crankshaft position sensor on BMW guys 6 series. Doesn't matter if you have a 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder, gasoline, diesel engine. The procedure to test your crankshaft position sensor will be about the same for all of them, guys. All you're going to need is a voltmeter and we'll show you guys how you can do that at home and find out if your crankshaft position sensor is good or bad, if the wiring harness is good or bad as well, guys. Now, before we start every single car we get at the shop, we make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply, guys, because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information for any of you guys that need to buy a replacement crankshaft position sensor voltmeter tools parts anything like that check out the links we'll share them in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check that out uh, ch check it out guys now uh, what we have right here guys uh, we have a six cylinder n52 gasoline engine which is a popular engine guys but you may have a v8 as well you may have a diesel engine as well for any of you that have a 6 cylinder engine and you're trying to find where the sensor is located and how to replace it, we have a special video that explains that. But the purpose of the today's video is to show you guys how to test it actually. So let's go ahead guys okay, and do that. This is the crankshaft position sensor. Now, uh, depending on the engine you have, model, year, configuration guys, uh, the wire covers may be different and we'll explain to you guys how to find out which wire you need uh, for the test. So. Practically you will have three wires guys, three wires. One of them, usually it's black and it's thinner. Okay, it may be black with white or something like that. It's usually thinner. This is a ground wire. Then you will have two more wires. One is ignition wire, which is, uh, you will get about uh, 12 volts or uh, equivalent to the voltage you have in the car battery. And the other wire will be close to five volts. Uh, the 5 volt wire is known as the signal wire. This is the wire that communicates with the engine computer. That's the wire that we'll need. How we're going to find out that? Simple guys. We're going to go ahead and remove the sensor and we'll show you how to test which wire you need guys and uh, how to find out. Next step, you need to get inside your BMW 6 series. You need to turn the ignition switch on until you see the dash lights lit up okay but the car not starting not running so don't start it just turn the ignition until you see the ignition switch on if you have the push start button go ahead guys and press it without uh, without pressing the brake pedal until you see the dash lights on and leave them like that and we'll show you how to test it now so the ignition switch is on guys uh, it's uh, the dash lights are already on we have the voltmeter set at 20 volts dc voltage okay let me just put it right here so you can see it good uh, the middle wire is a black wire that's where we're going to probe with the negative lead and we're going to put the red lead on one of the outside wires and we get 12 volts this is guys ignition wire right there now if we put the red one on the other side we, we should get about 5 volts. This is the signal wire and that's the wire that we need guys, right there. You can see, perfect. Now, how we are going to test the sensor, you should turn your ignition switch off at that point, but we'll just plug it in, don't do what we do. We peel the signal wire and we're going to touch it with the lead right here, okay? Now there is a special device that you can use to clamp it on the wire, that way you don't have to cut your wire open. You guys, you have two options. You can put the red, uh, the black lead on the uh, black wire, but you have to cut it open, or you can put the black lead anywhere on ground on the engine. And the moment you see five volts on the voltmeter, you're good to go, guys. So you can see we have five volts, and we have the black lead on the alternator. Perfect. Now, if I get a big metal tube next to that sensor, uh, and I attach it, okay, for a second, your voltage should drop to zero, guys. So check it out now, zero. I remove it, it goes back to 5. I touch it again, 0 guys. I remove it, it goes back to 5. I touch it again, 0. That right there guys, it's a good sensor. If the sensor is not responsive, if it's not changing, if it's stuck at 0 volts or 5 volts, you have a problem guys. So that's how you find out on BMW uh, 6 series. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.